I. Introduction. Hey there, fellow tech enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of PCBs, and more specifically, we're kicking off with a closer look at the surface finish. Now, for those of you who might be new to the game, the surface finish of a PCB is like the icing on a cake. It not only enhances the appearance but plays a crucial role in functionality. Definition of PCB Surface Finish So, what exactly is PCB Surface Finish? Well, in simple terms, it's a coating applied to the exposed copper traces of a printed circuit board. Think of it as a protective shield, shielding against corrosion and ensuring those electrical connections stand the test of time. Importance of Surface Finish in PCBs Now, you might wonder, why is this tiny detail so important? Picture this, your smartphone, your car's navigation system, or even that sleek smartwatch on your wrist, they all rely on PCBs. And the Surface Finish? It's the unsung hero that ensures your gadgets perform seamlessly, even in the face of environmental challenges. Stick around as we delve into two popular surface finish options, HASL and ENIG. We'll break down the nitty-gritty, compare their strengths and weaknesses, and by the end of this journey, you'll be equipped with the knowledge to make informed decisions about your PCB's finishing touch. So, buckle up, tech aficionados, because this is where the magic begins. HASL, Hot Air Solder Level a. Description 1. Process So, let's kick things off by unraveling the mystery behind HASL, hot air solder leveling. This process is like the Goldilocks zone for PCBs. Picture this, after your board is all set with its copper traces, it takes a hot plunge into a bath of molten solder. The excess solder is then blown away with hot air, leaving behind a beautifully leveled surface. It's like giving your PCB a spa treatment, ensuring those soldered connections are smooth and robust. 2. Material Now, about the materials, we're talking about a combination of tin and lead here. This alloy not only ensures excellent solderability, but also provides a protective layer against oxidation. So, it's like a shield that keeps your PCB in top-notch shape resisting the corrosion that could otherwise sneak in over time. b. Characteristics 1. Cost One of the standout features of HASL is its cost-effectiveness. If you're working on a project with a budget in mind, and let's face it, who isn't, HASL could be your go-to choice. It's a reliable, budget-friendly option that doesn't compromise on performance. 2. Thickness now, thickness matters, especially when it comes to the coating on your PCB. HASL provides a moderate thickness, striking a balance that's just right for many applications. It's not too thick to cause issues, yet substantial enough to offer that extra layer of protection. 3. Solderability Ah, the heart of the matter, solderability. HASL is known for its excellent solderability. The even surface it creates makes soldering a breeze. Components adhere securely, forming strong connections that withstand the test of time and use. 4. Shelf Life Now, let's talk longevity. HASL might not be immortal, but it does have a decent shelf life. The protective layer of solder helps guard against environmental factors, ensuring your PCB stays in prime condition for a considerable period. See Advantages 1. Cost-Effectiveness Did I mention cost-effectiveness already? Well, it's worth repeating. HASL is a cost-effective solution that doesn't compromise on quality. If you're working on a project where every dollar counts, HASL could be your financial superhero. 2. Robust for through-hole components Now, for all you through-hole component enthusiasts out there, HASL is like a sturdy foundation. It's robust and reliable, 
providing a secure anchor for those components that need a little extra support. D. Disadvantages 1. Uneven surface Despite its many merits, HASL does have a tiny hiccup, the surface can be a tad uneven. This might not be an issue for many applications, but if you're dealing with super-sensitive components, it's something to keep in mind. 2. Not ideal for fine-pitch components Speaking of sensitivity, HASL might not be the best match for fine-pitch components. The uneven surface, combined with larger solder joints, could be a bit too cozy for those intricate connections. There you have it, HASL in a nutshell. A reliable, cost-effective option that's like the loyal sidekick of the PCB world. Stay tuned as we delve into the contrasting realm of ENIG, Electroless Nickel Immersion Gold. The plot thickens, my friends. A. Description 1. Process Now, let's dive into the world of sophistication with ENIG, Electroless Nickel Immersion Gold. The name might sound like a mouthful, but trust me, it's a game-changer. Picture this, your PCB takes a luxurious dip into a series of chemical baths. First, a layer of nickel is gracefully deposited onto the copper traces without the need for electricity, hence, electroless. Then, the piece de resistance, a golden immersion of pure gold. It's like giving your PCB the royal treatment, ensuring a regal finish that's both stunning and functional. 2. Material Speaking of regal, the materials here are top-notch. Nickel provides a robust foundation, offering durability and corrosion resistance. And then, there's gold, not just for aesthetics, mind you. Gold is an excellent conductor and doesn't tarnish, making it the perfect VIP guest for your PCB party. B. Characteristics 1. Cost Now, let's address the golden elephant in the room, the cost. Enig is known for being a bit higher on the price scale. But hey, you're getting what you pay for, a luxurious, high-quality finish that screams sophisticate. 2. Thickness Thickness matters, even in the world of ENIG. The layers here are thin but mighty. The nickel and gold combo creates a protective shield without overpowering the delicate details of your PCB. It's like a tailored suit, fits just right. 3. Solderability Now, let's talk solderability. Enig boasts a flat and smooth surface, making soldering a dream. Components adhere with precision, creating connections that are not only strong, but also suitable for even the most intricate, fine-pitch designs. 4. Shelf Life Ah, longevity, a characteristic that never goes out of style. Enig provides a durable finish that stands the test of time. The gold layer, in particular, shields against oxidation, ensuring your PCB remains in its pristine state for an extended period. See Advantages 1. Flat and smooth surface One of the showstoppers of ENIG is its flat and smooth surface. It's like the red carpet of the PCB world, components sit elegantly, creating a visually appealing finish that's not just for show, but also enhances performance. 2. Excellent for fine-pitch components If you're playing in the fine-pitch component league, Enig is your MVP. The even surface and thin layers make it an ideal choice for those intricate designs, where precision is key. D. Disadvantages 1. Higher cost Now, let's address the elephant in the room, the cost. Enig comes at a premium. If you're on a tight budget, this might not be your first choice. However, if you're after excellence and can afford the splurge, Enig is worth every penny. 2. Not ideal for high temperature applications. Now, the fine print, Enig might not be the best match for high temperature applications. The gold layer, while magnificent, has its limits when things heat up. So, if your PCB is destined for the fiery depths, 
you might want to consider other options. There you have it, the Golden Symphony of ENIG. Stay tuned as we wrap things up with a head-to-head -head comparison of HASL and ENIG. It's the ultimate showdown of surface finishes, and you won't want to miss it. 4. Comparison All right, buckle up, tech aficionados, because it's showdown time. We've explored the enchanting realms of HASL and ENIG, and now it's time to pit them against each other in the ultimate battle of surface finishes. A. Cost 1. HASL vs. Enig Let's talk numbers, the cold, hard cash. HASL takes the lead in the cost department. It's the budget-friendly option, the reliable friend that won't break the bank. On the flip side, Enig is a bit of a high roller. The golden touch comes at a premium. So, if your project is playing the frugality card, HASL might be your financial superhero. However, if you're after the golden standard and can spare the extra bucks, Enig is the epitome of sophistication. B. Surface Quality 1. HASL vs. Enig Now, let's shift our focus to aesthetics and performance. HASL, while cost-effective, can be a bit rough around the edges, literally. The surface isn't as smooth and even as its counterpart. It's like a charming, old-school diner, reliable, but with a touch of rustic charm. On the other hand, Enig steps onto the stage, with its golden elegance. The surface is flat, smooth, and visually stunning. It's like comparing a vintage vinyl record to a state-of-the-art audiophile, both have their charm, but one is undeniably more refined. See Applicability 1. Component Types When it comes to the components, HASL is the sturdy workhorse. It's robust and reliable, making it an excellent choice for through-hole components. If your design involves components that need a little extra support, HASL is like the reliable friend you can count on. 2. Applications e.g., consumer electronics, automotive. Now, let's talk applications. HASL finds its sweet spot in applications where cost efficiency and reliability are paramount. Think consumer electronics, your smartphones, basic PCBs, where function trumps aesthetics. Enig, on the other hand, steps into the spotlight in applications where precision and a touch of luxury matter. High-end consumer electronics, aerospace, or any application where the visual appeal of the PCB is a critical factor, that's where ENIG shines. In conclusion, it all boils down to what your project demands. HASL is the reliable, budget-friendly choice that gets the job done without breaking the bank. Enig, with its golden allure, caters to projects that demand a touch of sophistication and precision. Stay tuned as we sum up this surface finish saga. We'll provide you with some handy tips to choose the right finish for your PCB, considering factors like budget, application, and the technical demands of your project. The final chapter is just around the corner, so don't touch that dial. 4. Comparison A. Cost 1. HASL vs. Enig Let's talk about the MULA, the cost comparison between HASL and ENIG. Now, I get it, budget constraints are real, and they can be the deciding factor in your PCB journey. HASL is like the thrift store find, cost-effective, reliable, and won't break the bank. On the flip side, Enig is the luxury boutique, a bit pricier, but you're paying for that golden touch, that finesse. Consider your project's financial landscape. Are you a bootstrapper or do you have a bit more room for a touch of extravagance? B. Surface Quality 1. HASL vs. Enig Surface quality, it's not just about looks, it's about functionality too. HASL, with its molten solder bath, can sometimes leave a slightly uneven surface. It's like a rustic charm, it has character, but not always ideal for every scenario. 
On the other hand, Enig is the smooth operator. That gold immersion creates a flat, polished surface that's not just visually appealing, but also enhances solderability. If you're aiming for a flawless finish, Enig might be your ticket to PCB perfection. See Applicability 1. Component Types Now, let's talk about applicability in terms of component types. HASL is like the all-rounder, it's robust, reliable, and can handle a variety of components. Through whole components? Check. But, when it comes to the delicate dance of fine pitch components, Enig steals the spotlight. The even surface and thin layers make it the go-to choice for intricate designs, where precision is non-negotiable. 2. Applications, e.g., consumer electronics, automotive. Okay, now, applications, where do these surface finishes shine? HASL is the blue-collar hero, perfect for consumer electronics, where cost-effectiveness and reliability are key. Your TV remote or the control panel of your microwave? There's a good chance HASL is doing its job there. On the other hand, Enig is the aristocrat, gracing applications.